Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with the one inch brush and a little bit of blue and black. And we'll let this color just run right along the top of the canvas. And then as it comes down toward the horizon, allow it to become lighter. So go down there when you when you've used up most of the paint on your brush. Now with some red and a little touch of brown, maybe some yellow, and then some white. We can come right down here and drop in a little bit of color. Not too much, just here and there. You see, I kind of, I kind of set it around on the canvas, but I don't leave it that way. I pick up a, a two inch brush and we're gonna blend it in. Make it very, very soft. And this will be the shadow color for our clouds. Just a, a nice little glow down here. Some pretty colors in the sky. Now I'm gonna pull a one inch brush through some white paint. And we'll come right up here and begin doing some nice highlights. There, it doesn't take too much white paint because we really have very, very little paint on the sky. So it doesn't take much to cover it up. There, look at all these nice, soft, bright highlights we're getting. And I'm also leaving a lot of nice dark in there too. Don't cover it all up with highlight. There, look at it kind of has this nice flowing feel to it there. Really looks nice. And do, do some layers in the clouds too. Don't just paint them in solid. Now with the fan brush and some black and white, we can tap it and break the bristles open. And we'll come right back here, very, very far away, and just tap in the indication of a few trees. We don't need too many. This is very far away. Look at how light and pale these are. You can barely tell that they're back there. Now with the filbert brush, we can drop in the indication, really just a, a map out of where our waterfall is gonna be today. While we have the filbert brush going, we can just paint in the rest of this area. This is just the dark part We'll come back and add some nice highlights on top. Same on the other side too. Just block it in so we can continue, maybe even do some highlights with the fan brush and some blue and white. We can drop in some nice dark color here for the water. Now this really, this isn't too dark considering it is an underpainting. I really don't want this part of the water too dark because when it, when it starts to fall over, it really becomes light and foamy and very bright. So there's no need to get this dark color too dark. Next, we can begin tapping on some highlight. I'm just tapping with a one inch brush. And we get all these nice little, little areas of grass back in here, little bushes. You can tap on some highlight even, even to those closer ones right there. We can also add in the rest of this water with the fan brush. Maybe there's gonna be a, another waterfall right in there somewhere. And then, I don't know, maybe a third one right here. Now with the fan brush and some white, we can come right here and begin working on our waterfall. There, look at it, it just splashes right down. Again, don't worry about if you mess up your, your rocks, not a big deal. We can fix, we can fix them later. There's some, maybe it, it only goes down a little ways here, kind of stops, it splashes over again. Yeah like that. Now we can begin dropping on some highlight with the knife. 
I have some black and white on the knife. And I'm just letting this color break right over the dark. I think in our painting today, light's coming in like this. So remember that as you highlight. With some black and green on the fan brush, we can now begin tapping in some very nice distant trees. Just tap, give yourself a little line, and then work back and forth across the tree to create all these nice limbs. There. Maybe, maybe we're gonna have a lot of them. So let's do, let's do quite a few, kind of clump together. Very dark, because we're gonna come back and add some nice highlights on top. Still using that same corner of the fan brush, we can just keep on tapping in these trees. They really go in very quick and very easily. You can put in so many, very fast. They just kind of come right out of the fan brush. Now, it's definitely not too early to start thinking about some grass that kind of grows down around the rock. Right there, maybe. And I'm just using the same color and the same brush. There. And while we have the paint going, we might as well put some on this side. Next, I'll go right into some yellow and a little touch of red with that same brush. And you see it turns a nice green color. And with that, we can tap on some highlights to the grass here. Just tap lightly. Not too much color on this side. This area's in shadow. Now we can begin thinking about a big tree up here. Just start by giving yourself a line and then work down the tree. Back and forth. Make sure it's nice and dark. Now with the knife, we can drop on some some highlights to these rocks. Just very, very gently let the knife work across and you'll get all this great looking texture. That's so nice. There. Allow your colors to, to vary. You don't want the same color over and over again. Now with the one inch brush, we can drop on some nice highlights here to the grass. Just tap, tap on many different colors. And remember this nice slope we have going down here toward the water. With the fan brush, we can drop on these nice waterfalls right back here. Just a couple extras. And then gently brush them back. And maybe, yeah, right here. There's another one. Now with a lot of dark brown on the filbert brush, we can drop in a nice big tree here. This is gonna help to push everything back, create a lot of depth and distance in your painting. And I love it when we can do that. Create a painting that just, it has a lot of layers. It goes back a long ways. All right. And maybe one right there. With the liner brush, we can drop in a lot of nice little limbs here. I'm using very thin paint and allowing the paint to flow off the brush. If your paint doesn't flow like mine is, then simply add more paint thinner. Remember to Remember to have a lot of nice shapes to your limbs. Don't just come up here and draw little squiggly lines. A lot of nice hard movements and areas that maybe a broken branch where the branch stops and quickly changes direction. See that? Create a lot of character in your limbs. Now we can drop on some very nice little highlights here. Just touch 
let that knife bounce right along. There, look at all that bark texture we get. You can see it, it's very rough. Look at all that dark in there. Next, we can add on a few highlights to these evergreen trees. Just touch and let your brush work right along, back and forth. Leave a lot of nice dark showing through. The last thing we wanna do is add on just a few loose and open and airy leaves. This really, it'll kind of give the tree a finished look and any limb that you're not completely happy with, make sure you cover that up with leaves. There, keep most of them at the top. We don't want to ruin this nice pretty background we have going. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.